Hey guys! Everyone knows the idiom to end up worm food, right? Yeah, that's what people say when someone kicks the bucket. You know, dies. The British like to say, went six feet under. Six feet is about two meters. But why exactly this depth of the graves they dig in most countries of the world? That's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Sit back, pour some tea, get pancakes with honey and buns. Get it what I did there? The European tradition of burying at a depth of six feet dates back to the 17th century, when in 1655, in England, the plague began to rage. And then the Lord Mayor of London, according to some sources it was Sir John Lawrence, according to others Sir Thomas Bloodworth. So this very Lord Mayor of London is like, that's it guys, I am issuing a decree that all the dead should be buried in the ground to a depth of at least six feet. Fuck it, maybe at least two meters of soil will save us from this crap spread by corpses. Actually, up to this point, nobody gave a shit about the depth of graves. If the deceased hadn't written any whims or instructions in the will, the relatives of the corpse just ordered a pit at their discretion. If they wanted, they could dig 10 feet deep, or 30 feet deep, or even just sprinkle a bit of clay and stones on top and that's it. Well, since the graves were often dug up by wild dogs and foxes, or the soil was simply washed away by rains or blown away by the winds, the dead often found themselves on the surface. Although many were sure that this wouldn't be useful. Some assumed that the infection was spread not by corpses, but by rodents while others thought it was all God's punishment. Therefore, this method of defending against the plague was received with skepticism. But who's gonna argue with the mayor? So this cemetery standard took root. In the USA, things are different. Every state has its own requirements for the depth of graves. Some want 6 feet, some want 15, and some want over 17. But those are more like cemetery community buildings, where members of a family are buried in tires. In large metropolitan areas, a burial plot in a cemetery has somehow arisen in price, so not everyone can afford it. More often, people resort to cremation and the place in a columbarium, or in an urn on a shelf for children and grandchildren to look at. Well, let's not forget that the geological conditions also affect the depth of the burial. For example, in swampy cities, digging a grave deeper than six feet is pointless, since the coffin will have to be put down into the water. Also, the close location of groundwater creates the risk that it'll push the coffin up to the surface. In Christian countries, the requirement for the depth of burial is especially strict. This is always connected with church canons, which differ for different confessions, but are approximately similar concerning the funeral business. It is known that a true Christian must be buried on consecrated ground. It's like the point of their life, but the consecration is only enough for 10 feet of soil, not more than that. Therefore, a parishioner who is buried too much may find himself outside the jurisdiction of his church, even at the walls of his own church. So it was decided to recognize six feet as the optimal depth. But suicides, play actors and criminals, on the contrary, were buried deeper than six feet, out of the reach of consecration. Because fuck you for living like that. But this is all from religion's point of view. And here's what the official science says about this after it has dealt with the issue in detail. First of all, a layer of soil above the body should reliably isolate the outside world from decaying flesh, the spread of odor, bacteria and fungi. Also, the depth of the grave should make the dead body inaccessible to birds, animals and of course vandals, while at the same time to the natural forces. So, six feet is a sufficient depth in order to play it safe from all kinds of disasters that threaten from the outside. In Russia, the English manner of burying at a depth of six feet took root thanks to Peter I. The Tsar reformer tried to bring ancient Russia to the European level and, among other things, imposed standards on almost everything. In 1973, Peter the Great ordered by a special decree to bury the dead at a depth of three arshins, that is a little deeper than two meters. Under him and his closest heirs, this norm was respected. But then no one gave a shit anymore, and for a while there was funeral anarchy again. And because of the neglect of sanitary standards, several serious epidemics of plague and cholera occurred, after which Emperor Alexander I ordered the introduction of punishment for violation of these standards. 
cards. So all cases of burial that run counter to these documents are considered illegal, and the persons related to them bear administrative and sometimes criminal responsibility. So before you bury someone in your backyard, first of all make sure that you're not violating anything and that you're burying six feet under. Well, that's all. It was me, Brock from Broccoli Academy, and thanks for watching.